So you want your character to blink and look around in Minecraft. Well, with the newest actions and stuff update, this is now possible. Today, I will be walking through all this so you'll know how to make your skin blink, look around, and even more. Now, as a quick disclaimer, this currently doesn't work on console because you will need to upload a custom skin. However, this could still be important for you in the future as they are trying their best to make this work for consoles. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Now, the next most important thing is that there is a wiki. I don't go over every single tiny little detail, especially if your skin has some weird eye types. If you are needing a little more assistance, please check out the wiki. It will be the top link in the description. This should also help you if you're having lots of questions or concerns, you can go there first. And if you're still having bugs or issues, feel free to reach out on the Orville Studios Discord or down in the comments as well. So without further ado, let's get your skin working in Actions and Stuff 1.5. Now we can hop over to the Actions and Stuff content guide that will be very helpful. As we scroll down, we will be able to see expressions. Now click on this and as it opens, you'll be able to see a brief overview. This is kind of what it looks like. So once you get your skin set up, you'll be able to blink, look in one direction and things like that. If you want just Actions and Stuff skins, just download this right here. It will be an MC pack and you'll be able to use all the skins that have been featured in the newest update. This is what we really want right here. Actions and stuff expression template. Now, technically you don't need to download this, but I found it very helpful while I was creating my skin. This will have a template for every kind of eye type that is currently supported. So you'll be able to download this and we'll be able to extract it and open it in Blockbench. Now you don't specifically need Blockbench, but it is very useful, especially if you're on PC. If you're on mobile, you can use any other editing software. It might be more difficult, but you will still be able to follow these steps. Here we are in Blockbench. This is the place we're going to be doing everything. All right, we're going to go to our folder. I currently have our actions and stuff expressions template right here. We're definitely gonna wanna use this. This will be very helpful. We can come over here, extract it. Once it's extracted, we're gonna get this pulled up. If we come here, we should be able to launch this in Blockbench. So double click on that. Bada bing, bada boom, we now have our template right here. So one of the things we can do is go to import texture. I'm going to find my skin. I'm going to open my current skin. Now it should be at the very bottom right here. We got our Perry skin. So this is my skin. It's looking pretty chill, nothing super crazy. However, all these example skins are going to be very helpful when we're creating our friend. So as you can see right here, this is kind of a big eye one, so we don't really want that. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna find the one that matches my skin the best. As you can see, there's lots of different ways to do this. So you just kind of find the one that is close enough to yours. I think right here, this one's pretty close to mine. Can I move these? That would be actually super, oh, we can, thank goodness. If you look right here, this is almost an exact replica of my skin. So this is gonna be a little bit easier to use as I'll be able to look up here in the top left hand corner and be able to copy everything over the way I need to do it. Now, next up is setting up our face. And to do this, you're going to have to unclick some of these toggles on the right. You may be wondering, okay, what do I need to unclick? Come over here to the right. You'll see the blink face, back face, and eyebrows. So we're going to disable the blink face, the back face, the eyebrows, and the eyes. So then all we should be seeing is our character's face. So if we come over here, that looks right, everything is going well. For me, I already have my skin loaded in, so we don't need to paint the face in because it's in the correct spot, as you can see right there. Now, if you're on mobile or using another device, don't worry about unclicking all these things. This just helps us in Blockbench. Just focus on the top left section and copying exactly what we have up there into the right location. Now, next up is the back face, which we can see right up here. So we're gonna come over here, we're going to unhide the back face, and it should pull this up. It will be a white skin, just like that. So if we come to ours, we don't have anything at all. So that's gonna be a little rough. Now the easiest way to get the back face is to completely just copy the face you already have. So you may be wondering, oh no, I can't select my skin. You know, I don't have options for that. Come up here to the paint tab. That's going to be where we're gonna do all of this. So right here we have the selection tool. We're gonna to come up. I'm gonna zoom in just to make things a little easier. We're going to highlight our face. Bada bing, bada boom. We got our face selected. I'm gonna copy that, control C, or you can right click and hit copy. Then we're going to hit Control V or paste. You can right click and hit paste. Then we'll be able to grab our face, zoom out, and we'll be able to place it just right there. So our face is now duplicated in this new spot, which we can see lines up exactly with where we need our blanks face. So if we come here, we want to give ourselves some white eyes. It might be a little bit scary. We're going to come up here to the paintbrush. We're gonna click on that and we are going to make our eyes white. 
Now, this might be a little bit scary, but don't worry. We're going to do it just like that. So then if we come over to our other one, our whites will be in the exact same spot. Now, next up, we need to put eyes in here because this is a little scary. So if we open the eyes folder, we're going to see all these different kinds of pupils. You're going to find the one that you specifically want. For me, I'm going to do the pupils two times one. I'm going to unhide that one. So everything should be okay for me. Nothing changes. And once we have that selected, we're going to go into this and we're going to be able to see pupils right and pupils left. And once we have these, you know, we're going to use the two by ones. We can grab this pick screen color. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to go over to my eyes and I'm going to pick this exact same color. We'll click that. Then we can zoom in up and we can put our pupils in just like that. There we go. That should update over here on the left. That's looking pretty good. Now, we, now we're looking pretty surprised. I think that'll be working. Now for the eyes reference, this is kind of important. So if you're using the three by two eyes, you may need to hide individual cubes or draw onto the UV window on the left instead of the skin directly. So you'll be able to know exactly where to place all these. I know it's a lot of colors, but this should help. Now, next step is our eyebrows. As you can see, my character doesn't really have eyebrows. I mean, technically I probably could put eyebrows under there, which I might end up doing just for the tutorial. It might look weird, but we might be doing that. So these are the different ways that you can get the different eye types right over here, the monobrow, the two by ones, and the three by ones. So we can come over here to the right hand side. We can minimize this. We're not gonna have to worry about this anymore. And just to make sure you did it right, you can unclick the eyes and you'll see them pop on and pop off just like that. So we can close this folder for now. And next up, we can do the eyebrows. So we can unclick that folder and get ready on the eyebrows. In the eyebrows section, we're gonna open this up and we are going to get rid of the ones that we don't need. We can close that folder. We'll close that one just so we can see these three. I need the two by one eyebrows, so I'm going to hide both of those. So we should only have this one selected. And if you select that, you should be able to see where the eyebrow should be located. And the outline right here will show where you can put your eyebrows. So let's put eyebrows on our character. We're gonna come over here, pick a screen color. I'm just going to find a brown. Sure, we'll go with that. Then we're just going to put eyebrows right there. I know it looks really weird. It kind of looks a little cursed, but don't worry about it. I promise it could be, it might be okay. You'll be able to see them. And finally, we are going to do the blink face, which is gonna be a little more difficult. We're gonna dump everything back and we want to hide our eyes. So that should be hidden. We're gonna hide our eyebrows. You can double click it just to make sure they're all off. And we're going to hide the blink face. So we should only have back face enabled. So we're gonna do exactly what we did before. We're gonna come up here to our selection tool. We're going to get a copy of our face. If you already have the copy, you can just copy and paste, which I should probably do. There we go, we got our face. And you're going to place it up in this top left-hand corner, just like that. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna pick paintbrush. We're going to get a, you know, a decently dark color. Let's pick that one. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna dye it kind of dark. So we're chilling on that. And for this skin, I feel like that would be pretty much it because, you know, I have this hidden right over here. But if you wanna see the little actions and stuff video, this is what you do if you had some bigger eyes. The tip they have is making the blink darker than your character's skin tone will help to make it look like a blink. You can also use the blink face to animate eyelashes and eyebrows. So this is my character. He's looking, you know, not too hot right now. I'm gonna be completely honest. However, if you want to test this, all you have to do is come over here to the animate tab on the top right. Let's click that. And we're gonna do blink left eye. We got that. Blink right eye, eyes look right. Oh no, we did something wrong. Let's unhide eyebrows and unhide eyes. There we go, that'll make it a little bit better. Let's come over to animate now. Now we should be able to see blink left, blink right, eyes look right, eyes look left, eyebrow surprise face. So there you go. You now have a character that should be working mostly properly. Now, my skin is definitely not the best one to do this because the eyebrows are, you know, a little bit cursed, but that's okay. That's okay. We can just watch him, you know, just disappear. His eyebrows aren't even the same color. That's gonna bug me. Hold on, let me fix that. Gosh darn it. Those aren't the same. Why aren't those the same color? Now, once you have your skin all completed and finished, we want to put this into Minecraft. Now, I would also recommend going and saving this project. Go down to save as. It should pull up a folder just like that, and you'll be able to save this project as anything you want. Now, once your skin is completed, you want to save this as a PNG, so you'll be able to open this in Minecraft. 
So once you're in here and you go to file, don't click on this save model. We're going to want to come down here. We're gonna scroll down. Let's find our model. We're gonna right click on here. We're gonna hit save as, and you'll be able to save this to wherever you want to save it. So I'm gonna make a new folder because I have done other blink tests on Java and Bedrock. So if you do wanna check out the video for other blinking textures, you can also take a look at that. Let's come in here. I'm gonna name this. We will do actions and stuff, Perry skin. We'll hit save. Now, all you gotta do is open Minecraft. Now, let's hop into our fantasy world. We're going to go to resource packs, make sure actions and stuff is on. That's kind of important. We can hit play. Now that we're in our Minecraft world, this may look familiar to anyone who watched my 1.5, all the features. So feel free to check it out. iCard is right there. So once we're in here, we obviously don't see our skin moving and that's not a good sign. So we're gonna go here. Let's go to dressing room. I'm going to come over here and I'm gonna replace this skin, change classic skin. Come over here to this tab on the right with the clothes hanger. Click on this blank skin right here. Choose new skin. Now find out wherever it's at. Actions and stuff blinking. This is mine right here. Let's open it up. And I'm going to choose this one right over here. Now you can see our character blinking. Okay, so if we hop back in, we should be able to see our character. They will, the eyes will move just a little bit and they'll occasionally blink. If we grab a bow, we'll see one eye close. My horrendous eyebrow. So that's pretty cool. But if we jump up and down, we'll be able to see the eyes move just a little bit. Kind of like that surprise look. And if we fall, we'll kind of be able to see that as well. We're going to fall down. Woohoo! Surprised. And you'll also be able to see your eyes move a little bit during the animations. There we go. We're looking left and right, but it actually moves. That is super cool. And we'll be able to see a few more of these as we look around. Obviously, turning around isn't, isn't the best thing. But... It's just so cool. It adds a little bit more life into the game. This is definitely more of an advanced tutorial and it might take a couple tries to figure it out. One last thing, it is not available on console edition right now, but they're hoping to get this to work in the future. If you do have any questions or concerns, please go check out the wiki. It has a lot more information that should be able to help you. And if you run into any bugs or major issues, please reach out to Orville Studios on their Discord channel. And finally, comment down below what your experience has been like, or if you've run into bugs, maybe other people will be able to help you as well. And if you enjoy this tutorial, feel free to check out some other actions and stuff content. Thanks for watching. Bye.